report would basically say, these are the people I have solicited for this committee, they have agreed, and then you would, in my opinion, uh, make a formal action to approve that committee group as it is, and, and you go. Uh, obviously, they can still be doing a little bit of homework. I also want to say, you know, as far as Director Naylor is concerned, um, this is, it, he's had a lot of conversation with myself prior, you know, during his even thinking about running for election, his time as a commissioner, um, you know, prior to deciding to become a candidate. Uh, I mean, he's really vetted this out very well and has asked a lot of very good questions, in my personal opinion, has done a lot, spent a lot of time looking into these different items. Uh, and as the district manager, I mean, I fully support moving in these types of directions, and I agree that I think some kind of focused uh, uh, attention is needed and, and consistent attention to the point of, you know, getting things done. Um, I understand uh, Stephen's concern between ad hoc and standing committees. I think Jeff, uh, in very short uh, explanation, is, is correct. Uh, ad hoc committee has an end, you know, has an end goal in mind uh, that when it's done, the committee is done and the committee breaks apart and is over, as opposed to say a finance committee, which would be a standing committee that would carry on, uh, and uh, even though it would be for a future agenda, I think personally Isabella's comment on uh, what I I perceive to basically be a marketing communications. Uh, committee would deserve some merit too, but that really can't be discussed other than that's what I think personally she was looking at was, you know, not just a website, but a marketing and communications. <coughs> um, so that's my understanding on ad hoc versus standing, as well as a little background on the, the, the amount of time that Jeff is kind of putting into this. Okay. Um, thank you for that um, understanding of how the committee would um, essentially come, each committee would essentially come together. Um, I, I'd like to make sure that each board member who potentially um, either volunteers or is um, nominated um, understands that uh, involvement or responsibility. So, Linda? Um, I just want to say as a committee member. And sorry, um, we'll try to keep this to just questions for right now. Um, if it's an issue of ballot discussion, um, we'll try to keep you that. You don't even know what I'm going to ask. I'm just saying it's starting. Why don't you just it's starting out? Let there. me speak. Don't interrupt <clears throat> me. Linda, you go are ahead. supposed to allow your public to speak. You are not I'm supposed not to interrupt. I'm not prohibiting you me. to do so. You always Linda, interrupt go ahead. me, Justin. Linda, what am I? I'm telling you now. So please go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. What I was about to say is that as a community member, I have been very worried and concerned about ad hoc committees because they are so secretive. However, I think this is a fabulous idea and I am asking how can we make sure that it does come up every single month so that it is public, so that it is very tr um, transparent because it's a perfect idea. How can we ensure that it will come up every single month? We will have them on the agenda. Okay. Joel? Uh, is it appropriate to, or allowed to have an employee or an department head on an ad hoc committee? Yeah. As far as I know, yes. You're on two of them. <laughs> yeah, which one do you volunteer? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, are there any other questions, Stephen? Oh, I, I come. Okay. Um, well, then, if, if it's okay, I'll move. Like to move forward. Um, I'd like to call a motion for um, item H one. Uh, form ad hoc committee to address district unfunded future liabilities. Uh, thank you. Second. Sorry, second. Um, motion and second by Director Perry and Director Shea. Um, are there any comments on H1 from uh, from the public? Stephen. So uh, first of all, 
wonderful. I, I just want to echo what Bill said. It's great. I'm glad you're dead man rolling up your sleeve. One of the reasons I supported you, I knew you were a man of action, and I love the policy objectives, and I love the, the, the idea behind this. What I don't like is the fact that it's ad hoc versus standing. That uh, removes a level of transparency. And I'm just trying, you know, I, I asked about overhead. I don't quite understand what grand overhead you're talking about. It. I don't think it really means anything <coughs> more than you notify people that the meetings happen. So the um, way I understand it, I forward you guys an email from the First Amendment Coalition. It sounds like you're creating standing committees. And uh, I guess that's a legal question, but uh, uh, I, I didn't. Like I said, I, I want to support the effort, but I can't really I, I also want you to follow the law of the Brown Act. Mm -hmm. so. Understood. I think I am. Um, I'm certainly willing to be taught otherwise. But um, for all intents and purposes, again, um, one of these committees, for sure, we're going to be reaching out to other, other agencies in Marin County to talk to them about their um, attempts to rein in their uh, unfunded liabilities, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would really like to be able to um, schedule those um, on a time that's convenient for um, other agencies and not have to call a meeting with 72 hours notice and have it in a particular place that perhaps would be inconvenient to them. That's in part why I think an ad hoc committee that has a specific beginning and a specific end is warranted in this case. And again, um, my anticipation is, because I will be volunteering for some of these, and if they choose to let me move forward with it, I will be reporting back in as much detail as I possibly can on a monthly basis. I don't know if this ne needs to be included in part of the original motion. Um, I, I, kind of, I, I believe we had to do what we had to do. Um, is there anyone who would like to volunteer for H1, or is there anyone amongst the board who would like to nominate? I'd like to volunteer. <clears throat> okay. Um, Eric, does that need to be um, amended as part of the original motion? Probably. Okay. It doesn't hurt to do it. Okay. Um, so I will restate my motion then, and we'll uh, nominate uh, Jeff and Bill to take on the ad hoc committee to address district and funded liabilities. Second. Okay. Great, thank you. Um, are there um, any other comments from the board? Um, 